Okay, I want to show you a little bit about what goes in paper space, what goes in model space. So here I've got a drawing. You can see I've got a couple of different layers available. I've got the C annotation layer, C property line layer, Phantom 2, a no print layer. Uh, I'm on C prop right now. And if I zoom in, you can see I've got my drawing just about right. Uh, they're there. I don't see them very well from here, but if you'll notice We've got uh, a command called PSLT scale paper space LT scale and I've set that to one so the viewport scaling Governs line type scaling and my tile mode is set to zero Set tile mode zero so dash links will be done okay. If I need to regenerate because I've made a change, I'll do regen all. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to my layout. Uh, let me go ahead and set up my no print layer. And I will put a new layout in here. It's a rectangular layout. And I've decided ahead of time that I want this to be 3 8 inch equals a foot so that I have room to write. I'll double click outside, put it back in the paper, and I'll type regen all. And everything is now set to the right side. So that's an actual feature of my drawing. It's part of the geometry. So it goes in model space. That's my model. It's in model space. On my piece of paper now, I'm going to make some annotations. Those go in paper space. Okay, you should also know what my units are set for. Decimal feet with surveyor's units. I'll need to know that in a moment. So the first thing I'll do is put a donut on each one of these. My inside, I'll make 0.03. And my outside, 0.25. Let's see how that looks. Maybe a little big, but it's good enough to demonstrate. Now those, of course, are on my piece of paper. They do not show up in my model. They're just here for my paper. Now one thing I might want to do is go into model space and lock this down here so that I don't accidentally change it later on. The next thing I want to do is put in my text. DT, middle center, let's do a, a middle center point, and I'll put it right there, and my height will be uh, 3, 30 seconds, and I'll write due west, let me make it caps, and again, that is in paper space, my annotations go in paper space. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I want to type this one in. So I need to write my, um, get this thing set at the right dimension. So first I'll go a DT and I'll do a left. And I'll start it right here. And I'll keep that same height, same angle for right now. And I'll say, I think it was 115 feet. And it was north, 3 degrees, 62 minutes west. So now I want to get that lined up right. So here's how I do it. I go into my model space and I select the line. Oh, see, I had that wrong. And if I go to the little calculator here, it brings it up in a way that I can copy it. North 3 degree, 15 minutes west. So I'll copy that. I'll go back to my model. And I'll paste that in there. I'll make that a capital. And now I'm going to do one other thing on this. When I select this, it actually lets me 
put my uh, text rotation in there and I'll type the same thing and lo and behold it aligns itself properly. So that's how we work with our annotations. Annotations go in paper space. Press go in model space. Now there are some times when I decide nope I just really want those annotations to be in my model space. So I can do a cool command called ch change space and I can select these objects and hit enter and those are now in my model and they're the right size. So those are some tricks to playing with this. Now I'm going to put those back right now so let me turn off my prop layer change space again take those and I think what did I just do there So that one didn't work. I know I can do that. Change space. Oh, I can't do that from the model tab. Okay, so I can only go one way with that. Okay, so be sure that you want that if you're going to go that way with it. All right. So there we go. We've got it. You're all set and ready to go.